Hi guys, welcome to another beauty maintenance vlog with prices. So first we have my girl Morgan at Pretty in Mink. I get the Starstruck set and I get my lashes filled every two weeks faithfully. She is the best in Atlanta, hands down. Next, I went to the Buckhead Nail and Toe Spa. I got my nails and my toes done. For my toes, I get a jelly pedicure and that comes with hot stones, a hot wrap, a mask, a few other things, and of course the jelly pedicure part. For my nails, Anne is the one that does my nail art and she kills it every single time. Any nail design, any shape that I show her, it just turns out great every single time. Next, I went to Body Zillion to see my girl Tashana. I got a Brazilian wax and I got a Shijacial. This was my first time getting a Shijacial and it was the best thing I could have ever done. I've already seen such a significant difference in the evenness of my tone down there. It was so relaxing in the ultimate pamper treatment. Tashana is literally the best. Next, I went to get my hair done at Canvas and Main. The shop is so cute. And y'all, this might be the best sew-in I have ever gotten. Shari did a full sew-in and color on me, and it looks like I have micro links. Shari is literally the best. I would highly recommend. Like, wow, my hair looks so good. And then finally, I went to the best esthetician in Atlanta, hands down. Lauren at Bespoke has literally transformed my skin and I won't let anyone else touch my face ever again. I got the Hydra Facial with some infusions and bought the at-home kit. My skin is literally the clearest it has ever been thanks to Lauren. So this was my total. If you end up trying any of these places, tell them Jazz sent you. Hey y'all, here is a mini vlog maintenance edition. So vibe check first, we're burning the Palo Santo, get rid of all that negative energy. And of course, implement crystals and I'm getting a facial, which I love and something I'm going to do monthly. And now I'm getting waxed. I get waxed every four to six weeks. Just look how satisfying that is. And I've noticed a big difference in my hyperpigmentation. And of course, I gotta get my lashes done. And so, yeah, this is just my monthly maintenance vlog. Hey, besties, look, it's ready with me for my trip. First was my toes. I got basic white. They're about $37, including tips. Next up was my hair. While I love it, would not be back. So many things went wrong, but my hair came out cute, and it was about $210, including tips. Then next up was my nails. I got some cute little claws, and it came about to $65, including tips. Love the color. Next up was my lashes and brows. Look at this view. My lashes were absolutely beautiful, but my brows were not giving. I tried to fix them later on the day, and that was a total of $100 including tips but yeah i'm ready for my trip y'all <laughs> gorgeous gorgeous girls get their hair done every week even though they don't need it and they aren't going anywhere how much did this maintenance day cost for me as a 21 year old living in atlanta georgia first up was my hair this one was more expensive obviously because i had to buy the bundles and color it this time it came out really nice so i'm happy with it but it's not usually this much and then I made a stop at the CBD store to get some oil for anxiety. Then I headed to Sugarcoat Midtown to get my nails and toes done. This was a suggestion that I saw from Aaliyah's face on YouTube and honestly, they are great and they always do a very good job. Then I had to stop for some food. This is from Yard House. Next was my full body wax, which was $100 including tip at Sweet Peach Buckhead. And then lastly was my lashes and that's it. So here's a mini maintenance day college edition. First, I got a silk press for $80. Then I got my eyebrows done for $13. And then, of course, I got a mani-pedi for $120, including tip. Um, such a pretty day out, so I got a, like, spring color, you know? Then I went and got food because I didn't eat all day. That was, like, $10. And then I got ice cream for, like, 7 I can't focus on nothing else but getting my hair done. Like, my hair not done. I need my hair done so bad. All I can think about was getting my hair done. 
that is literally all that matters to me hey guys welcome to another episode on what i spent on beauty maintenance first up were my lashes like me looking like a little corpse <laughs> it was 134 including tax and tips the next was my nails this is what i wanted is this what i got okay um my nails came about to 110 including tips as well my claws were fire okay look at all the colors that i put on it <laughs> next up were obviously my brows because your brows your girl brow needs to be done they were having a promotion for like new clients and i was a new client i did get a brow tint and i only paid 47 dollars and my brows came out really nice because i was honestly so nervous because it was my first time using them lastly was my hair you guys i went and got a little ponytail done by my friend and that was only 50 dollars and that is a total of 12 on maintenance <laughs> Gorgeous, gorgeous girls get their hair done every week, even though they don't need it and they aren't going anywhere. Maintenance week. Brow wax. Facial. Nails. Went simple this time. Hair appointment. Pedicure. White toes. Hey y'all, welcome to a Wednesday night in my life. I always like to tidy up during the week so that my weekend cleaning is a lot easier. So I started with the medicine cabinet here. It was pretty quick. Then I moved on to some laundry. Something I've really been working on is following all of the care instructions on my clothing items so I don't ruin them. It's not super hard, I just have to be sure that I'm laying out all the clothes that can't be dried on the drying rack, as you see here, and then I folded the rest. I used some dishwasher cleaner tonight, then I vacuumed a little bit, then I lit a candle, that's it, good night. So here's a mini maintenance day college edition. First I got a silk press for $80, then I got my eyebrows done for $13, and then of course I got a mini pedi for $120 including tip. Um, such a pretty day out so I got a like spring color, you know. Then I went and got food because I didn't eat all day. That was like $10 and then I got ice cream for like 7 Welcome to today's self care and maintenance vlog. This morning I was greeted by my little furry friends. I had a quick breakfast. And then I got ready to go to my appointments for today. Today I'm getting a facial, that's why I'm so happy, and lashes. My skin has been dry, so I really wanted to enjoy this facial. Irina was done with my facial. She gave me a set of classic lashes. I love classic lashes because they look so natural. Irina is actually the owner of the Lash Lounge located in downtown Honolulu. Make sure you take care of yourself and make time for yourself, always. This part of your life is called finding yourself. If you get lost, that's okay. You'll make your own path. This part is about you loving yourself so much that you realize you're the only one that can stop. Girl, I'm gonna be real with you. Nobody's coming. Nobody's coming to save you. No one's coming to give you the perfect life, body, or relationship. You gotta do that shit on your own. And I know you're tired and I know you're scared. But I need you to get up. Because even though it doesn't make sense right now, eventually it will and everything will fall into place. I promise. Ch Lately, I've been noticing that I haven't been paying much attention to my self-care, so I dedicated a whole day to maintenance. So I'm just doing washing my hair, then I took a quick break to attend a therapy session, then I did some curls. After that, I did my nails, fill-in, and then a pedicure. Then after I finished my pedicure, I waxed my legs, and then I did a quick lip scrub, and then I took a quick shower. Nobody fit. 
Can I talk to you for a minute, minute, minute? Yeah, yeah, yeah.